So talking about terrible movies and uh, remakes that we don't ask for. We got some news about this bad boy. So if you guys don't remember, I know most 90 babies like me remember that there was a 90s movie called Anaconda. I'd say it's probably the second movie that really catapulted Jennifer Lopez into like the spotlight. The first one being Selena, which I believe came out in 95, but Anaconda came out in 97. It had Ice Cube, which I think was Ice Cube's first role that I can remember. John Voight. And come find out, Owen Wilson was in it. Wow. Um, anyways, we're going to talk about this article that's... Uh, that we, I don't know what they're thinking about doing with this franchise, but there's something big coming up. So let's get into it, you guys. All right. I forgot to adjust my big head. We're going to put me over here. Yoink. All right. Jack Black and Paul Rudd announced Anaconda reboot, and it sounds bad. How, how can it be bad if you got Jack Black and Paul Rudd? I, that's all I got to say. Anyways, this one is, I don't want none of this Anaconda, Anaconda comedy reboot, huh? All right, let's take a look. A report claiming that Jack Blank and Paul Rudd are talking to Columbia Pictures to star in an upcoming meta comedy reboot of the 90 creature flick Anaconda. And boy, does this project sound bad. Truth be told... I uh, I kind of have some faith in Jack Black and Paul Rudd. Now, with it being a reboot, I ain't exactly sure. Now, granted, the first Anaconda movie, as a kid, terrified me. It's terrified of potential snakes, man. But, as an adult, I watched it probably a year or two ago. It is terrible. Release, uh, releasing in 1997, the original Anaconda starred Owen Wilson, Ice Cube, Jennifer Lopez, and John Voight, and told the tale of a small group of people getting involved in a lunatic, dangerous hunt for a giant snake, which 100% it is. It is them in the middle of the, the Amazon jungle looking for a giant snake. It's a pretty campy film, featuring some over-the-top performances and questionable CGI, which, oh my god... The CGI for this movie is terrible. And what's funny is I've gone back and I've watched some of these 90s movies such as Anaconda about a year or so ago, and it was terrible. I went and I rewatched the original Scream, and it was it was okay. It's definitely more of a thriller than a horror, um, but it just like it didn't get me going like it did when I was younger. Um, I rewatched the original Crow because this week, actually, the remake of The Crow came out, which is another movie that I had high hopes for. I thought the new Crow movie was going to be amazing, but come find out it's being universally panned by critics and people like me and you, the consumers alike, that it's really, really bad. And what, like I said, what's funny is I went back and I watched the original Crow with Brandon Lee, and it wasn't as good as I remembered it. Of course, it is a... 90s movie um but like i said when you look at the imdb rating and the reviews and the rotten tomato scores like the rotten tomato gave it a 41 percent imdb gives it a 4.9 which i mean i i kind of have to agree and then like take a look at this picture look at that anaconda it looks so real i'm kidding by the way um there's quite a few scenes in it where like <laughs> this right here like I remember in 97, this right here looks so real. And nowadays, it just, it's terrible CGI. Um, and like I said, what's crazy is like, I think this is Ice Cube's first like actual film. Jennifer Lopez, she had like Selena just before this. And then of course this, and then John Voight. John Voight's a legendary actor. Everybody knows who John Voight is. Um, and Owen Wilson, wow. I forgot he was even in the film. <laughs> Anyways. But it was also a hit at the box office, even leading to a few sequels. Which, by the way, you guys, if you want to watch the sequels, just give it some time. It's going to be on sci-fi. I'm telling you that right now because there's... I've seen it so many times on sci-fi of, like, Anaconda, you know, strikes back or some shit like that. Anyways, on August 21st, Variety reported that Jack Black and Rudd 
are in talks to star in a new Anaconda reboot slash reimagining from Beverly Hills cop Axel F. writer Tom uh, Gorman's, Gormankin, I think is how you pronounce it, who, is also, uh, who will also direct the movie. Um, I will throw this in there, and that is the Beverly Hills cop Axel F. is actually, it's, an, it's a fun movie. It's one of those movies you could definitely, like, you see everything that's coming. I, I wouldn't say it's amazing, but it's one of those enjoyable movies you could sit down and, and just, you know, just watch it. Just watch it. Because it is very much like a buddy cop movie with um, Eddie Murphy and um, John Gordon Lovitz, or however you pronounce his name. According to Variety, the new Anaconda won't be a remake of the original. Instead, it's reportedly uh, about a group of friends who will, who are all facing a midlife crisis. I mean, at this point, who isn't facing a midlife crisis? I'm, you know, in my mid-30s, and I'm in my midlife crisis. Now, Paul Rudd and Jack Black, they're past that midlife crisis part. So if you're looking to do a midlife crisis thing, you might as well find somebody that's younger to star in this movie. Um, so they decide to remake their favorite movies which I assume will be Anaconda. Um, this brings me to another talking point, and that is Jack Black was already in a movie that was very similar to this. I highly recommend it. I know it's very underrated. It's Be Kind, Re, uh, Please Rewind. And like, not a lot of people actually talk about that movie, um, but I highly recommend it. It's like they open a video rental store and they realize they can't afford to buy all these movies. So what they do is they just start remaking the movies shot, well, shot for shot. And, um, that's how they generate revenue for their store. I recommend it. It's shoot. That movie's almost 20 years old. Now that I think of it, holy crap anyways. Um, but once they arrive in the jungle, things get real quickly. Variety reports that they don't yet know who Jack pack and Paul Rudd will be playing in the movie. Two of the lead characters are described as wannabe directors and failed semi-famous actors, which I think Rudd and Jack Black would be great for those roles. But like I said, it, you know, this doesn't really sound like that good of an idea. I, you know, Jack Black's already done something similar to this. Anyways, <laughs> now to be clear, I don't think the 1997 Anaconda is some incredible masterpiece that should be treated as an untouchable piece of pop culture history. No, I think if they were to go to remake it, like, just completely remake it. Just make it better, though. <laughs> it is a campy, over-the-top, giant uh, monster movie featuring bad CGI, but uh, practical puppetry and some wild moments. However, the key reason the film works is that it feels uh, earnest, which it does. Um, it doesn't wink at the audience constantly or go ahead, yeah, we know, this is silly and dumb, too. Kind of like Snakes on a Plane. Snakes on a Plane definitely did not take itself seriously, which made Snakes on a Plane a great movie. I'm not saying it's a amazing, it's not a masterpiece, but with how over the top it is and how bad it is, and I'm sick of these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. It's good. Like you, you uh, Spoiler alert, when they go to land the plane at the end, Keenan goes, I'm going to land the plane. Well, how much flying time do you have? I play GTA. That was his response. It was just a fun movie, which we don't really get many fun movies anymore. It, you know, over the top, dumb, fun movies. Like, oh, that helps it feel less dumb and uh, like a bunch of people who made something bad and waste your time and more like a movie made by people who cared, which I agree. Sure, the Anaconda cast and crew didn't make the next American classic, but in the end, they made something memorable, fun, and enjoyable to watch. If I had to guess, a meta comedy about people who liked Anaconda going to the jungle and making jokes about Anaconda the whole time likely won't turn out to be a memorable, fun, or enjoyable one. I, you know, I kind of disagree. It depends on how the script's written, and Jack Black and Paul Rudd with their improvis improvisation, or have you pronounced that? I think could make this movie great, especially if they're going to Amazon. They're not taking it seriously and do like a Tucker and Dale meets evil where like they're being hunted the whole time and they don't realize it could be a fun movie like Tucker and Dale, ver you know, versus evil. Um, it's just one of those things like you don't know until, <coughs> excuse me, until the script's done until they make the movie 
until you see what they have in front of them and put it out there. A lot of people, like a lot of critics actually pan Tucker and Dale versus evil, but that movie is fun and it's funny because of the two lead actors aren't really taking it seriously and they play the dumb rednecks very, very well. Anyways, let's go full screen. But guys, let me know down in the comment section. Do you think this this might be a good movie? It might be a bad movie. Or do you think that this is just a terrible idea? It's going to be a waste of money and should just go directly to streaming. I almost said DVD. <laughs> it shows you my age. Um, but directly to streaming and potentially might have a fighting chance in streaming. I think potentially if you get the Axel F. Ryder, like I said, he made a fun movie in Axel F. And you get Jack Black and Paul Rudd that can potentially improvise and make the movie fun and have them basically reshooting Amazon anaconda with like puppetry and all that other stuff and the whole movie they're being hunted by anacondas and fucking jim bob billy joe in the background you know random people just go missing and they're like what happened i don't know maybe cannibals got them and just make it fun this movie could stand a chance Anyways, guys, mash that like button and subscribe. I can't do this kind of stuff without you guys. We're on our way to 9,000 subscribers, which is insane. Y'all take it easy. Have a great and wonderful day. Until next time, I'll catch you later, guys. Bye-bye.